Hello everyone and welcome to Jam Academy. In this problem we have a block that is being hanged by three strings. The question requires us to calculate the tension in all three strings in terms of M, G, and theta. Now this angle right here is theta. Let me put it together. So the very first thing that you do whenever you're given a problem that involves forces is to draw a free body diagram. And a free body diagram is simply a diagram that demonstrates that shows only the forces acting on a system. It doesn't show the forces exerted by the system. In this case, um, we have two objects. We have a box and a, a knot. This is our knot. So we will have two free body diagrams. The first free body diagram will be of the box. So this is just MG and uh, this will be T3. The trick about tension is this. Always remember this. Tension always acts away from the object along the string. Let me say that again. Tension always acts away from the object along the string. Now the tension at any point on the string acts in opposite directions. The tension at any point along the string acts in opposite directions. This is really a consequence of Newton's third law of motion. Now let's do the free body diagram for the knot. Um, we will have three forces. This will be T2, this will be T3, this is T3, and uh, we will have here T1. Now, if you observe carefully, this angle is theta. Remember, the angles under the arms of letter Z are always equal. The angles under the arms of letter Z are always equal. For you to see that, this is a Z, one big Z. So this angle is equal to this angle. There are corresponding angles. What that implies is that we can resolve T2 into two components. You will have here um, T2 cosine theta, you will have here T2 sine theta. Now, the next step is for us to apply Newton's second law for both objects. So let's do the summation of forces along the y direction. You will have T3 minus mg, which is equal to zero. This would mean that T3 is just simply equal to mg. So we've gotten the value for T3, it's just equal to mg. Remember we are dealing with a system in equilibrium because the system is at rest. The importance of that statement is the sum of forces in any direction must be equal to zero. And that would greatly help. So let's go to the knot. We know that the sum of forces along the x direction would mean that t2 cosine theta minus t1 all of this will be equal to zero now similarly the sum of forces along the y direction would mean that t2 sine theta minus t3 will be equal to zero hence if you Let's level this equation 1 and this equation 2. From equation 2, you can see that T2 sine theta is equal to T3. In other words, T2 is equal to T3 divided by the sine of theta. But what is T3? T3 is just mg. So this means that T2 is equal to mg divided by the sine of theta. That is T2. So
So let's move on now to determine um, T1. From equation 1, you can see that T1 is equal to T2 cosine theta. This is equal to T2 is mg divided by sine theta. And we are multiplying that with cosine theta. So we will have here mg cosine over sine will be, this will be tangent. Why do I say so? Keep in mind that sine over cosine is the tangent of theta. That means that 1 over tan is equal to cosine over sine. Hence, T1 will be equal to mg divided by tan theta. Now, this was actually a question in my last exam, so I recommend that you review this question. If you still have questions after watching this video, um, I will suggest that you ask or post your question um, in the discussion forum below this video. If you are inspired because of this video, post your comments still in the discussion uh, forum below. Thank you so much and uh, remain blessed. Bye-bye.